What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a brief video. Um, I've had a lot of questions on YouTube and Instagram about getting a better look at the, the Testo Smart Probe case that I'm using and sort of the setup that I have. Um, so that's what this video is going to be. This case is made by Condition 1, as you can hopefully see up there. Um, it's like a Pelican type case. Uh, dimensions, you're looking at roughly about 20 inches from left to right, from front to back. Um, as the camera looks at it, it's roughly about 12 inches, and the depth inside is about 7.5 inches. Very nice, very durable case. I think it was like $35. Um, I'll see if I can find the link on Amazon where I purchased it, and I will put that in the description if I can find it. But this is basically the setup that I have. On the top, you just have my refrigerant probes. Um, and charging T. There's a second charging T that goes here, um, but I have a, another tech borrowing it. So, but refrigerant probes are on top, and I keep a spare smartphone in here. Um, now, the biggest knock on Testo smart probes that some people just continue to beat into the ground is poor Bluetooth range. Um, Bluetooth range is poor in general, whether it's a speaker, whether it's headphones, whatever the case may be. You're not, you're not going to be able to go down the street for the most part and be able to stay in connection with, with your probes. It's just not the way it is with these probes. If you want to be able to set up your probes at somebody's house, drive home and monitor it, then you're looking at the iConnect. You're not looking at something that costs a, a sixth or an eighth of the cost. Um, but basically what I do with this phone is I use this to store all my data on for the most part, um, just so I'm not taking up space on my personal phone. But I'll just use this phone, sync the probes to it, keep it in the case, and save everything right here. Now, in the instance that I need to use the air probes, which are on the bottom of this case, at the same time, for whatever reason, usually when I use the air probes, I'll just take this phone in, I'll sync the phone, I'll do everything I need to do with the air probes, record the data, then come outside and hook up the refrigerant probes. For whatever reason, if I needed to have them both running at the same time, I simply just take this phone inside, sync the air probes at the air handler, wherever that may be. Then I come outside and use the refrigerant probes and sync them to my personal phone. Simple. It's, it's far from rocket science. Um, that way I can take all the information real time at the same time. I simply would just have to compare the two on two separate phones. Um, so the whole Bluetooth thing is a complete non-issue. That's what, not what this video is about, but that sort of irritates me to no end, so I figured I'd say it. But this has the, uh, the pluck and pull, I believe it's called, the little square foam um, pieces that you can pull out to customize the layout how you prefer. This was basically the layout that seemed the easiest for me, so um, you might want to configure it differently and you have full, full capability of doing that with this foam. Um, now, when you first get it, this foam, there's three pieces of foam in here. You have this piece, you have the bottom, which is exactly like this, and then you have this dividing piece. Now, when you get it, this dividing piece is not connected to the top or the bottom. It just sort of sits in between um, loosely. So what I did is I just took some adhesive and I glued it to the top. So when I go to pull this out, everything stays in there and uh, doesn't fall out or slide between the holes or anything like that. So makes it very sturdy. Um, these are the air probes, so you have the Bain anemometer, which is the 410i. You have the IR, which is the 805i. You have probably the most popular air probes that Testo makes, which is the 605i's. I have two of them. Um, I epoxied some magnets on the back of them to stick to return and supply grills um, for BTU output and things like that. And the last probe in here is the 405i, which is the hot wire anemometer, which you can see all the little cutouts. The only thing I don't like about it is it's really hard to make the cutouts even um, because these foam tubes actually go from the top all the way to the bottom. So you basically, uh, the best way I had to, uh, I found to do it was to take some small like beard mustache clippers, um, just small scissors and uh, get in there to basically pull up the piece and, and cut underneath of it as you go. But seem to work really well. Um, as you can see, insides aren't super clean, but you can't really tell that when all the tools are in there. Um, the only other thing that I added to this was my FLIR 1. 
um, which I'll be making a video on as well, and the FLIR 1 adapter. All my phones have OtterBox cases on them, and the FLIR 1 won't connect because it's got that pretty large lip right here. So this adapter plugs in, and then you can plug the FLIR 1 in, and you don't have to worry about um, taking the phone out of the case and things like that every time you want to use it. So that's the, uh, that's the FLIR 1 part of it. But other than that, in a nutshell, um, that's pretty much the setup. It's very basic, very simple. Um, but it's relatively compact as you can see it got quite a few tools inside of it um, every smart probe that I need is all in one case so that's my setup hope that helped anybody that was interested again I'm going to try to find the link on Amazon to this particular case and I will post that in the comments for anyone interested but thanks for watching if I didn't answer anything regarding the case um, just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can. And um, as far as the smart probes and everything, we're going to cross that bridge. Um, and I'm going to go more in depth into that uh, on another video because, uh, yeah, I don't want to make this really long. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.